Well, these pros are ready to rock and roll, so let's jump straight yes. into this matchup. Take a look at this opening hand. It's a little slower than he might want, but I think Flock is quite happy to keep that with Collected Company, just able to get a bunch of stuff on the battlefield. Whereas Kowalski, yep. that's pretty much the ideal hand. We got One Drop, Gilded Goose, we got uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods, and we have that Mayhem Devil to, yeah. get, uh, to get the pressure on. Definitely. Kowalski's hand is definitely better at the start, but I would say the power level in Yvonne's, flaw, Yvonne's uh, hand is much higher if he's able to get to these collected companies uh, on time. The one thing I will note, all of his lands come into play tapped right now, mm. which is a big problem, excluding Phyrexian Tower, of course. So that would mean if he does not find Stomping Ground or something like that, he's just going to have to go 3-drop into 3-drop and then collect a company the turn after. Yeah, so it does pick up a two drop there, unable to cost it right now, unless we want to get Phyrexian Tower down, but then that slows yep. down getting the three drops down and getting Collected Company going. So just uh, settling for that tap land, and we'll pass the turn back to Kowalski, who's picked up a Blood Crypt off the top of the library. Yeah, I love that small little subtle play by Von Flock. Just recognizing Blood Artist is not exactly what you need to get into the battlefield first. Recognizing that I would rather consistently cast three drops or four drops in, in the case of the collected companies that just get a zero one on the battlefield that's not going to do too much and in fact would have died to this mayhem devil right here so, <laughs> yeah, so great not, play there it's, it's kind of like the cherry on top it's not going to get anything done by itself it needs an already established battlefield to to really make uh you know make an impact um, exactly I, I also love this play here from kowalski sacrificing that food token getting the additional goose down so if there is a threat like that mayhem devil or a woe strider or something of the sorts um well not so much woe strider but mayhem devil specifically then it's just it's staring down the barrel of a gun right now here with uh, this active priest of forgotten gods Agreed, agreed. And now here, a really tough uh, decision from Yvonne Flock, recognizing, do I want to play another tap land and just get Blood Artist on the battlefield, which, let's get real, is not great, or try to go a three, play a three drop, and then at worst case, if Yvonne does not have an untapped land next turn, can play Woe Strider, <laughs> but oh, man, if he gets a next turn, jeez, oh, this is a lot man. of damage already. This, this is going to be a big amount of damage i will refrain from saying what i was going to say but now we get to <laughs> steal this mayhem devil we get to sacrifice with the priest attack with both mayhem devils deal so much damage draw extra cards get the mana to damage it's just this is looking terrible for flock no kidding here and what of uh, or what uh kowalski is going to be able to do is sack the mayhem devil that is not uh, not his, of course, and then just get rid of one of these extra goose geese, which is not doing too much. Uh, and, you know, each one of those creatures going to the graveyard is going to be two triggers for Mayhem Devil, as well as the priest damage. Wow. So this is just a ton. Six damage here. Oh, man, that's a rough beat indeed. At least if yeah. if that um, if that card wasn't drawn, we would have still gotten a few extra pings from Flockside being able to ping off this Priest of Forgotten Gods. It's the only sack outlet right now, barring the geese and the food. But phew, that was a rough one indeed. That was a rough one. And Avon Flox, looking at his list right now, there's not a ton of lands that come into play untapped that don't deal him damage. <laughs> and right now, you need Collected Company to try to catch you up here. But if you yeah. have to shock in a blood crypt or something, that feels really bad. And uh, ooh, insult mm. the injury here. Company has been collected. Yep. Yep. No uh no fishing through the library there for any uh any extra cards on this battlefield. Just gonna have to go towards the Woe Strider or the Blood Artist. But this is yeah. not looking super good at all here. What we so could do potentially is Woe Strider. Oh no, we can't even do that. I was thinking maybe for X and Tower could help out a little bit, but just not having those yeah. untapped plans. Yeah, that's not helping out as, at all right here. And the the kind of the brutal thing that Kowalski can do to Yvonne here is sack a couple more creatures and then with Mayhem Devil ping, ping the O1. So Priest of the Forgotten God makes uh, Yvonne Flock sacrifice the Woe Strider as well to kind yeah. of clean up both creatures here. Yeah, and then just attack for lethal. It should be with that uh, Paradise Druid down too. Yeah, because Yvonne can sack this food at end step to ping the O1 um and then priest to deal with the woe strider and deal a couple of damage uh upstairs i think he oh, might yeah, be need one them. short he needs a creature and then it's yeah. probably over doesn't yeah, so find a it. creature would have been necessary there for for both attacks to happen so first things first we're gonna go gilded goose ping mm -hmm. get this little one off the battlefield no scry in response otherwise that's an extra ping 
<laughs> exactly. That's kind of a, a, a brutal interaction in these Jun Sacrifice mirrors. Yeah. That's rough, man. All right, it's Mayhem Devil Sacrifice Pings. Ping, ping, ping. You are very yep. dead, Flock. I Let's believe, yep, that's it. <laughs> number two. <laughs> And oh, just man. a lightning start from Kowalski there. And Avon Flock, well, he had an insanely powerful hand. You really got to make sure you just don't die on the draw. Um, and his hand just didn't really do that. Starting at turn three or starting with a Blood Artist on turn two usually isn't enough there. Yeah, no. For sure, Kowalski had the better start there. Had the Goose, had the Sacrifice triggers off of that and the food. Had the Priest, mm -hmm. which is just so incredibly powerful. I mean, we, we're going to see some removal brought in now uh, for creatures such as that and also the Mayhem Devil. And King Corvold yeah. gets to hang out too. That's neat. Coming in, yeah, absolutely. Gets those Blood Artists out of the way. Just seeing how, you know, they're not that great against other mayhem devils just a very easy kind of juicy target uh to deal a damage to mm -hmm. get some more braids in corvold is really tough to deal with and then the one thing i love is just staying maxed out and claim the firstborn that is one of if not the most important cards uh from either side yeah yeah just, just being able to steal your opponent's resources it's it's backbreaking in most instances like we just saw Exactly, especially when both sides have these really, really great creatures that now synergize with each other's decks. Normally you're claiming an Uro and you're like, great, I get to get rid of this because it's the most powerful thing my opponent's doing. But now you're like, okay, what combo piece uh, as far as creature goes, do I need to complete my puzzle? And yeah. oh, I'll take that one and then, you know, activate a priest or something yeah. like that and kind of go, <laughs> go crazy, really. It's almost like sharing of resources, sharing is caring. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think either one of these players want to share uh, at this mm -hmm. level and this height of competition. Yeah, so so let's talk about uh, going into this next game. Opening yeah. hands. What do you want to see for sure in your opening hand that you'll be like, okay, I will forego any other opening hand because I have X, Y, and Z in my opening hand? I would say for Avon Flock, it's like Cat Oven, Priest, and then a three drop, and then draw into Collective Company is kind of the ideal start um, for Avon. You want to have a sack out so that you're claim the Firstborns whenever you draw them. Uh, also, did you see that deck name for Gregor Kowalski? What was it? <laughs> Don't cage me, please. That was the. <laughs> <laughs> and that is pretty funny. I think we covered one of Kowalski's earlier matches, and it was against that Karn the Great Creator deck, if you remember. Oh, yes. and, and Cage just absolutely shuts down that deck, Collected Companies and Citadels. Oh, yeah. uh, but on the other side from Kowalski, he just wants to be ramping as fast as he can into either Citadel or Collected Company. Um, oh. He's setting himself out quite nicely here for a turn two Mayhem Devil, if he so chooses. On the other side, we've got Priest of Forgotten Gods in hand, which is pretty yes. neat. And we have Acclaim the Firstborn. So, next turn... Hmm... Yeah, still pretty one, ideal still start one away for from, uh, from stealing and sacking, because we need to get Woe Strider down as well with this Priest of Forgotten Gods to, uh, to impact Kowalski's battlefield. So, so what does he do here? Does he just play it safe, gets a Blood Artist down, or is he going straight for the Mayhem Devil? Or a yeah, Strider, even. I think it feels pretty bad to play a three drop here to just get rid of your food and then, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck there. But with having a third land and multiple three drops, I guess the food is not that relevant. Mm -hmm. um, and Blood Artist is not, you know, it, amazing right now. So I would probably lean with Woe Strider. I think it gets a little scary if you play Mayhem Devil and then there is a claim and there yeah. is one more creature able to be cast. Then you get to kill everything on Kowalski's side. But Kowalski doesn't care too much if he doesn't have a food because then that goose is kind of, uh, you know, not that relevant as well. So decides to just go for it anyways. All right. So throwing caution to the wind, Mayhem Devil down on the battlefield. Saints, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Okay, well, you need to do something, and something has yep. arrived because there's a Cauldron Familiar at the top of the library, Corey. So we get to now play another land, steal something, attack with it, sacrifice both things along with a cat, so Mayhem Devil and Cat sacrifice, and then follow up with a Woe Strider or a Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Cats in the Graveyard is pretty much the ideal scenario here for Avon Flock, so I, I'm pretty sure that was just the absolute best draw that he could have had there. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely stellar, and gets the goose on the battlefield, so Flock, hands on his head, you can tell he's not super pleased about that, but I bet you Ivan Flock is. Wow, so far the play has just really dictated um, uh, 
you know, the stronger start here. And now Avon Flock also gets to play one of these powerful three drops as well. Mm -hmm. And you know what's going through his mind is, okay, what is the best thing I can do against possible claim the firstborns from my opponent? That's yeah. just something they always have to have on their mind here. Yeah, just having the sack outlets as well, just being like a defense against the claim the firstborn. Most Rider would be an easy target, but if Priest was targeted, for example, Most Rider just gets a sack it for free. It's one of the only, exactly. I think it is the only free sack outlet in standard at the moment. In Historic, there might be others, but Woast Rider is just, it's just so good. Oh, so good. Yeah, that and like Oven, I guess, are, are pretty much the only ones. And uh, it is nice to get Woast Rider down first as that kind of insurance policy, mm -hmm. uh, just in case they do have claim. So here again, this is going to be brutal for Kowalski, but he will get his own back, be able to kill one of these uh, creatures on this battlefield when the Priest mm -hmm. of Forgotten Gods goes for it. And he's oh. got to be very careful with the Priest activations, and you you know Avon has done this kind of math uh, plenty of times, but this is going to be two Mayhem Devil triggers, uh, which will be able to deal with something. Yeah. Not the and face, Avon's though. okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point he's totally fine with that. I mean... Down to nine, needs a Mayhem Devil of his own just to accelerate this win here, but Flock is looking yep. very much in the driver's seat and will pick up this win here, unless something drastic happens from Kowalski's side, but I can't see anything that he'd draw to keep him in this game. Yeah, honestly, the things that he really needs to... Uh, oh, especially with that nice. oven. That oven is excellent. Uh, the thing that he, uh, Kowalski kind of needs, which is, he's nowhere near, is just land four, collect a company. That's the kind of thing mm -hmm. that could get you back into this. But, you know, land four, double blood artist is not really going to be the most ideal uh, situation here. No. You know, it, it is good in the in the sense that, you know, whatever sacrifices Flock does, the blood mm -hmm. artist does trigger off of those, so it can help keep yeah. him alive. But... You know, if but he would... is careful with it, then... Exactly. And it would come down to them just having to chump block if Flock just decides to not sacrifice anything and just turn these two, three, two sideways. You at least have to chump block with one. Yeah. And you kind of have to chump block with two because we know about children familiars in the, in the graveyard here with the yeah. oven. Yeah. So a little bit of a lost ditch here. Do you think we'll see one of these creatures sacrifice to get the cat going before this Blood Artist hits the battlefield? Or yeah. is it just better to I'm... keep the three twos up? I'm pretty interested in that as well because we do put um, we do put Kowalski down to the three, which makes the other three two creature lethal. Mm -hmm. But that is a very hard resource. I think if you sacrifice anything, it's Woe Strider because you can just bring it back next turn yeah. if you do have enough cards in the graveyard. Um, but it just doesn't seem quite worth it to me. But you do also get a couple of cards off Midnight Reaper, so this one's close. I, I'm going to leave this one up to the expert here. I was <laughs> yes, trying to stall right. long enough that he would make the decision, <laughs> you know, but it didn't work, so. <laughs> no, I, I also, I like second the, the Woist Rider here. Let's get a cat out. Yes. Oh, no, we're not going to get the kitty out yet. Okay. It doesn't have to be right now, mm. um, because the food being sacrificed does not trigger yes. Blood Artist. Um, but if Mayhem Devil was, he definitely would have had to respond yeah. to something like that on the stack. For sure. The Cauldron Familiar will make an appearance on the end step, perhaps? I would think so. I would think so. Yeah, unless he wants to wait and see if there's a Mayhem Devil at the top. That's a lot of lands in hand. He is currently just working with whatever Midnight Reaper can bring him. And uh, yeah. a Woe Strider in the bin if he can get back. That's another land off the top of the library. So flooding out here a little bit is Flock. Almost has Kowalski dead. And uh, Kowalski oh, might be able to mount a comeback here with these not ideal draws from Flock. Just needed kind of anything there in like the last three draws. Any creature would just be stellar here. But yeah, just a, a ton of lands off the top is pretty brutal here. I mean, Flock's yeah. still in a great position, but this Dove's have some room for Kowalski to claw back into this. Yeah, it sure does, because we do see that Woe Strider in hand. If Kowalski mm -hmm. doesn't draw a second line, he still has two creatures after this Blood Artist is uh, is killed by the Midnight Reaper, so we can mm -hmm. get this creature off the battlefield. So here's the nice thing with Blood Artist going off the battlefield. Uh, a Von Flock doesn't really have to worry... Oh, to second-guessing that, but if that Blood Artist is gone, we do get to just bring back Cauldron Familiar, sack it, draw another card, and and, and hopefully find uh, some gas off the top. Yeah. Changes his mind, goes for the Priest of Forgotten Gods as the blocker on the Midnight Reaper. Interesting. I think he values getting some extra life back more than sacrificing to kill the creatures. 
Well, he definitely doesn't have a lot of life to play with right now, so that makes sense to me. <laughs> now we'll see. It's still probably worth it, even though there is going to be a Blood Artist trigger with Cauldron Familiar dying to the oven. But that drawing a card here when you have five lands in hand is definitely worth it, in my yeah. opinion, because the Cauldron Familiar already neutralizes on life here with it coming into play. So still yeah. something I would be looking to do, and Avon <laughs> Flock agrees. How about a non-land? Oh, there we Not go. Bad. All right, it's something. <laughs> It's something. Okay. And I believe we're really close to escaping Bull Strider, or we actually have it, but it would be removing those cauldron familiars. Not yeah. something that uh, you really want to do here. Yeah, I think the cat is good sack fodder here for this priest. But the priest's yes. targets are going to get worse now with Bull Strider and potential. Oh, Blood Lord is coming down, but a braid now. What does that do? I mean, we can take down the attacker, which is directly killing Kowalski, or we can take down the priest to, you know, try to prevent that powerful ability from blowing Kowalski out here. I think second blood artist down, a braid, kill one of these creatures. I don't know if it matters too much which. Possibly, yeah. Pro probably the, um, probably the priest. Oh God, it's because tough now because the midnight... triggers, This is going to be rough. No kidding. Now all of a sudden, we look at Avon Flox. He's, you know, not a 20 anymore here. And this gets a little scary with two Blood Artist triggers. Um, yeah, this is interesting what he chooses to abrade here. I mean, Witch's, or, yeah, Witch's Oven is an option as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the worst out of them. But definitely an option. I think he's going to be Priest. Like, Priest okay, is just such a powerhouse. Yeah, okay, I lied. Abrading the food was an option as well. That's definitely the worst option. <laughs> yes, abrade my food. I'll eat it in response. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so now double blood artist pings. We do get another card, and it's another land. Man, a couple turns ago, I was like, yeah, Yvonne Flock is going to win this, no doubt. And then the deck is just like, nope, wait, hang on. I have a good old chunk of lands for you to get through first. No kidding, no kidding. This is so brutal. Now, we did have the priest go to the graveyard here, so I think at worst we can get a Woe Strider back, oh, which is going to be no. huge. Oh, my. Ow. Wow. Wow, the Gruul really want to play with these stomping grounds and rootbound crags just showing up here, but uh, Yvonne Flock is still just putting putting foot, pedal to the metal. Let's go. I didn't know Yvonne was so interested in buying property because he is a landlord right now. <laughs> Too early for dad jokes? Yeah, sorry, sorry, It might dad. be, yeah. it might be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do we block here? Just block the one creature coming through? I mean, there is Maybe. some world where you take this and hope that you have, uh, you know, something great on the top. Even that Woe Strider being played, you then generate two creatures and you can sack three as it stands, and that's six damage. Or you can, like, block with the goat, sacrifice it, get two drains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like this line. Kowalski is playing to win. He's not playing to not lose. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, sometimes you have to do that. Just hoping that Avon Flock has six lands in hand or something crazy like that, which we know is actually true. Yep. I can't wait till they talk about this match afterwards. Whereas Kowalski, yeah. on the other hand, could use a little of those lands. Having yeah. now two Oestriders in hand, only able to cast the one. But yeah, these Oestriders could get them done. Back to back, they could get it done for him. Agreed. I'd be And think if uh, Kowalski like, top deck to claim the first board here. I think this oh, game yeah. was just over. I think this game was actually over. Um, I, I'd be really interesting to see how many... We didn't get to see him sideboard, but how many Citadels are actually still in Kowalski's deck post-board. Could have because, done. Yeah, maybe, because your life total gets so attacked like this, you know, kind yeah. of from both sides, that maybe that's a card you have to take out um, and bring in, you know, uh, bigger stuff. Um, I guess he doesn't have um, the giant flyer, the Corvold, excuse me. Looks like he doesn't <laughs> have those, though. He's got to leave in some amount, I would imagine. Yeah. Maybe not as much, though, because it is a liability in this. It's, it's almost a mirror match. Totally agree. And Mayhem Devils, of which we haven't seen any, I don't think, this game. Yeah, and here's the tough spot. It's every one of these. Normally, it's the end of the turn. You sack your cat. That's yep. just that's what you do at the end step. But here, yep. it comes with a price. Dwee, dwee. <laughs> You're actually taking three because of Midnight Reaper here. Yep. So, oh, wow. On. What is going what? on with this library? 
Oh my I guess, goodness. I guess uh, Avon Flock used up all his luck on that insane map. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Are you kidding my me? God. Look at his face. I wish you could see our faces now, but not like this. I mean, my face is exactly Avon's face right now, so that is just unreal. Holy guacamole is all I can say because I will get bleeped otherwise. <laughs> what is going on with this library? You've got to think Kowalski is going to win it now. With a second Woe Strider coming down, with nothing going for Flock. I mean, I think what has to happen here, and I think Ivan is weighing the <sighs> options right now, we have to have Cauldron Familiar come back, draw one more card, and hope to just draw, well... Anything would be great, but like Anything. claim the first board would probably be lights out. Um, plenty of great draws from Avon Flock side, but unreal, unreal to just draw maybe like six or seven lands in a row here. I mean, are we at the point where we just go YOLO and just try and find a Mayhem Devil off the top of the library or something that keeps him in this? We still have to block, but the Woe Strider can just block and sack whatever's in the way here. Yeah. And here's an interesting thing too, though. If like just a goat goes in front of Woe Strider, we know um, that that is the best block based on Avon's flock's hand. But Kowalski has to just think like, okay, he probably has a spell, right? He so he's got to right? yeah, he's got to play around something. But and there gets to these to be these points of the games where you just like put your head down and you're like, I can't beat anything, so I I have to play like they have nothing and. Uh, if Kowalski did that, I think he locks up the win for sure. Yeah. Uh, as in not blocking with this Woe Strider. Um, it still might be completely fine. But I think we needed a, a block here from Avon Flock. Because you just get to draw those extra cards. Yeah. I mean, on the plus side, we can sacrifice the Woe Strider to get two food off of it. So That's we have true. an extra nine life hanging out in the bottom right corner of this That's battlefield. That's very true. Yeah, that, that could be huge. If you're not going to draw spells, you might as well use your mana on something. Yeah. All right, let's see how he navigates this turn here. This is very tense moments for our undefeated players so far. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this library is... has just been so, <laughs> so unkind to him. Yeah, I think a Von Flock, if he started his day and he's like, okay, I'm going to know if I'm having bad luck or good luck based on my collected company hits, that's to be expected. But if you just cannot draw a collected company or you draw three of them game one when you don't have the mana to cast them and now you just draw all lands game two, that's got to be frustrating to start off your uh, day two here at the Mythic Invitational. Oh, for sure. You know, playing so well yesterday, it just, you know... Absolutely, the deck doing everything it wants to do, and today it just betrays you off the start. So, I think Ivan's going to go and have a talk with his with his deck after this, just to make sure they're on the same page. And here we got a little rough scenario, Alias. I don't know if you uh, have that rope anxiety like I do. That if that <laughs> rope is coming down. He does not have any timeouts, and there's a lot of triggers that happen with this deck. So mm -hmm. Ivan has to get to clicking here. Get to clicking. He does sacrifices the food back up three life. Down to four, down to three. Hey, There's that's another not bad. cat. Okay. All right, kitty cat. What's up? Okay. We can go to four. We no longer have Midnight Reaper. Um, and we that's can sack okay. one food. So I think Avon can at, at least survive. If we had a fifth mana, or, and, and, and hear me out here, when for last turn, when there was a block with that Woe Strider. If that oh, Woe Strider no. did not block, that Blood Artist there would have assuredly been lethal. You just get yep. to sack all these Blood Artists. So, I mean, I, I don't disagree with uh, Kowalski's play, not knowing that there's six lands in hand, but in hindsight, with us having perfect information, the game would have been over if he did not block that uh, yeah. Midnight, ri Midnight Rider. Or Midnight, Midnight Reaper, Rider. excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> excuse me, Midnight Reaper. Here comes the Woe Strider. It's gonna get munching. We can chow one food from Ivan Flock. Do we stay alive? We're at seven I mean, effectively. And we have to sack the food because this is six damage that uh, Kowalski has. And I guess that's two as well. That's only gaining one. We might still be dead here. Yeah. I, think, I think the play that you suggested uh, sacking Woe Strider and getting two foods out of that, I think that's what we had to do. Because here we go to five, that's 
One, two, three, four, five. I think we have exactly yeah, five, good. right? Yeah, exactly yeah, that's, five. That's lethal, I think, yeah. It's exactly five. Chow the, the goat, chow the one. Um, Blood artist, artist, which will trigger twice. Trigger twice and, then and then the, the last one, one triggers, triggers once. once. Yeah, so that's going to be it, unfortunately, for even Flock flooded out there. Not Unreal. finding any useful spells. Had him down to, what, four life, I think? I, I think it might have even been down to one at one point before oh, he... Geez. Effectively one before he sacrificed the Blood Artist. But right now, what Kowalski's doing, you kind of see him looking off screen. And this is definitely something you do in an <laughs> open deckless tournament. And look, he's like, you can't have anything. That's yeah. I can just read his face right now. But yeah. you want to make sure and look over the list three times and be like, okay, there is no mana one or one mana red or green spell that he can have here. That's just got to be no. game. That's going to um, be game for sure. He just has to sacrifice these blood artists. They're going to do their job. Absolutely winning this game here for Kowalski. Never mind the fact that uh, Ivan Flock didn't have anything else to do for the rest of it. So super unfortunate there, but let's not take away the 2-0 here for Gregor Kowalski as the blood artist gets the victory along with Woe Strider. Oh my goodness, Corey, what a game. Yeah, uh, what a game indeed. And I think I saw Von Flock kind of his screen flicker. I th he was taking a screenshot there, and I think I would have to do that as well. <laughs> I would have taken a screenshot as well, man. That is super yeah. unlucky, but congratulations, Gregor Kowalski.